Good morning. It is I, Gordon, in the morning, and I am very, very glad to be here with you again for another episode. This is, if you aren't uh, tuning in for the first time and seeing this uh, because it's showing up in your feed, uh, it may be because you're on LinkedIn or uh, seeing it on YouTube or in one of the uh, Facebook groups that I haven't been broadcasting every day uh, into. But uh, in any event, I want to welcome you. I am doing this show. It is a new morning show. This is the middle of the second week that I've been doing it. Uh, it's a short format, five to ten minutes long, and I'll pick a topic and we'll go. And um, I'm happy to uh, welcome you to uh, to come on and uh, join as a guest. If you'd like to, you'll see the instructions for doing that in, uh, in a minute on your screen. And... Um, Anyway, welcome. I'm glad to be here. It's about motivation. It's about goal setting. It's about achievement. It's about uh, making the most out of life and having a good time and anything else that comes up that we decide to talk about. It's it's an open, loose format just here to uh, inspire, educate, entertain, inform, whatever uh, whatever I can do to make your life a little better, to get your day off to a slightly better, better start. So let me dive into my topic for today, which uh, is... Um, transformation Tuesday and ways to achieve transformation in your personal, in your business and so on. And, uh, and we're going to just look at, at uh, a couple of ideas and tips. So I was looking into this, I was, I was reading up on the subject of transformation. You know, what we mean by uh, achieving a personal transformation is really about becoming the person we want to be or becoming the business we want to be, and um, one of the uh, one of the folks that I have been inspired by a little bit uh, is a man named Jim Fortin, who uh, talks about uh, how most people have their order of operations wrong when it comes to uh, becoming who you want to be. When it comes to achieving that transformation, he says that most of us operate from a um, a have do be mentality. That's when I have the things that I need to make it happen, I will do the things that it takes to be the person that I want to be. And he says that's backwards. And the right way to do it is to be the person who does the things so that you have the accoutrement, the the stuff that it takes to continue. So you have to start with a state of being of 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 uh, experiencing life the way the person you want to be experiences life. And that requires a little bit of, of mental work, a little bit of emotional work as well. So let me just invite you to uh, open your mind and think about this for a couple of minutes and and start by dropping the ego, dropping your, your pride and accepting where you are today, your starting point, because every journey has a beginning and a middle and an end. And what I want to do is let's understand where you start. Take an assessment of where you are and then ask yourself, where do you want to go? What do you want to be when you grow up? What what does that achievement look like? What's the goal? Write it down. Record it in some way. Maybe even go kind of public and big with it uh, because of accountability that we'll talk about in a moment. But set the goals that are a little bit ambitious, whatever, but... I d- define who you want to be in the transformation, after the transformation. That is the goal. Visualize. Create a vivid picture of who you are after you've achieved the transformation. Transformation, excuse me. Create that vivid picture. Paint it as vividly as possible. What's a day in the life of you What's a day in your life after your transformation look like? This is not an avatar. We are visualizing self in that mode of having transformed, being that person. Be, do, have. So there's a mindset work involved here. You've got to get out of your head and and stop believing your current limitations. You have to stop accepting your current limitations. You have to leave comparison behind. You have to let go of judgment. Become a detached observer 
of that version of you that you visualize in the future, that, that transformed you, and start being that person now. This instant, there's no excuse for delay, no excuse for waiting. If you are going to be a successful business person, then be a successful business person. I don't care whether you're still waiting tables while you go to college. Be a successful business person. Think of your waiting tables as your business and be as good at it as possible. Be um, one who achieves that top-level success. A successful business person is successful across all areas, Is um, achieves levels of competence and excellence in everything that they do. And so start being that person right now. Develop a strategy, plan, look at the plan, look at what the steps are that got the visualized version of you, the B, what got you there? Those are the do steps. Look at what it took for that version of you in your mind to achieve that and then go do those things. Ignore other things. Don't let Things pull out and distract you that get you out of your your being the person, being that visualized uh, version of you. Don't let things take you off track. And if th something does take you off track, again, no judgment. Just accept it and go back. Not go back. Go forward, back onto your track, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so strategy and planning. Never stop learning. There are always ways to improve your approach, your strategy. Even, I think that most people who are successes do a, quite a bit of reading. They do quite a bit of study. But they don't let it be a crutch or an excuse for inaction. They, are, they accept where they are now. They accept that there's room for improvement. They visualize that improvement. And then they do the things like study, like learning that gets them to the next step. There's always a next step. When you've achieved the version of you, the transformation, that version of you is going to be working on the next transformation, right? So, because we never stop transforming, learning, being a better person. Consistency, small incremental steps that create massive change are far better than giant leaps every once in a while. So, set a plan. Make your consistent small incremental steps a habit so they are consistent. Make those changes. Do the things every day that move you down the path toward greater achievement, greater transformation. And get out of your comfort zone. Doing the things that got you where you are aren't go isn't going to get you to the next level and the next after that. So get out of the comfort zone. If something feels challenging that makes you afraid, take a really good look at why. Because that's probably the thing that you need to do now. The thing that needs to happen next. If you haven't put out an offer to your community, maybe it's time to put out the offer. If you haven't yet um, developed a product or a service or, or the expertise or gone back to school, whatever. If that's something that scares you, examine why and then go ahead and do it. Be the person who achieves. Be the person who has already accomplished that transformation. And guess what? It will come to pass. I know it's a little woo. It's a little little um, um, law of attraction-y. But it really is important that you can put yourself in the shoes of the version of you you want to be and become that now. And the rest of it will follow. You will start doing the things. You will start having the things that are necessary accountability i think it's really important that we develop some accountability that we um that we have some people in our lives who will help us stay on track hold us accountable mastermind groups are a great way to do this personal coaches are a great way to do this but if nothing else reach out to some trusted friends and tell them what you're trying to what you are achieving excuse me not trying be, I'll be Yoda for a minute. There is no try, only do or not do. So tell them what you're doing and be the person and ask them to point out when you're not being that version of you. Point out when you are and help you celebrate 
when you are. The small wins really matter. That consistency of small incremental steps and celebrating them and saying, patting yourself on the back. Hey, I'm glad I did that. I achieved something today. I achieved something this week. That is huge. It's very, very important to celebrate because without the positive reinforcement, it's very hard to stay motivated and excited. So, um, so do celebrate your wins, get your accountability partners in place. If you need a coach, reach out to me. I can help you find one or I can help by being your coach. If you're looking for a mastermind group, let me, let, let me know. I'd be happy to help out and try to find a mastermind for you. And, um, and if you need information lessons, I'm here. I'd love to help you out. I am here. I'm, I'm going to talk about my, my mission in another, uh, in a, probably tomorrow's episode. So stay tuned, tune back in tomorrow at eight 30 Pacific time in the morning for Gordon in the morning. And I'll say thanks for watching. Have a great week. Thank you.